I was in physics class, and the teacher was saying, uh, you know, uh, bumblebees can't fly. It's impossible. Aerodynamically, they can't fly. And I was on the second floor of the classroom, and I looked out the window, and there was a big, beautiful bumblebee staring at me right in the eye. And he was doing something that this guy said he couldn't do. I'd never forgotten that, that lesson. And so from then on, I understood that, well, he was right. They can't fly. They levitate. There's only one law, and that's you either know or you don't know. There's no guesswork. It's like you know when you're hungry. You know when you want to sleep. There, these are knowing. These are all natural knowing. It has a, a great deal of difference from the synthetic or, or <laughs> invented system of, of belief. You can believe this, but somebody can come along and get you to disbelieve it. And vice versa. So you go around and around and around all, all your life sometimes for some people. They never seem to get anywhere. Until you stand up and look into natural law, which is either you know or you don't know. And if you don't know, then you proceed along a line that's comfortable for you. You proceed into the subject matter that you're studying, and you don't give up until you know what it is. You don't, there's no more guesswork. And you don't have to try to do this because if you're following natural law, it will come to you. All you have to do is start. The first step is just, I want to learn this. I want to know this. And just start it. And pretty soon, it will start teaching you. He starts to beat his wings when he starts to clap his wings. There's a little cavity, a hollow cavity next to the larynx inside his, his system that's hollow. And when he beats his wings, he starts to resonate this energy. And it goes back and forth, just similar to uh, uh, somebody hitting a high C and breaking a crystal. It's the same thing, it's resonant. What they do, they resonate. When they resonate, they eventually reach the resonance of the field around them. The Earth is, is operating on a frequency of 8.5 hertz per second or so forth. Once this bumblebee hits that resonant frequency of its surroundings, it becomes a free agent. It creates a magnetic bubble around itself, and it can go anywhere it wants. But well, that's not in any of the science books. You probably never see it there either, but that's that's what happens. We have a conventional way of doing things, and then we have a natural way of doing things, and they're totally different.
are flying much faster than predicted. An incredible 30 miles an hour. In spite of 30 mile an hour crosswinds, whether out or back, they all fly. You want answers?